Welcome to part 7 of editing pictures for Facebook. Right, say this was your header here and you were to edit any part of your header. There are several things that you can do to your header so we are going to discuss some of them in this video uh, very quickly. As you can see here, I've selected A, B, C, which is uh, the text that we're going to use for demonstration purposes. Now, if you wanted to re rotate this uh, text, this is how you would do it. You come to the toolbox. You come here. If you click on there. Just follow the red highlight, click on there, come back to the selected text, click inside. You can see that in here you have like a, a target circle. This shows you the center of selected area. Now there is one more thing that you, uh, you cannot see in the screen. I'm going to bring it in. Right, this is it right here. So you can use this slide here. To tilt the selected area of text until you get the desi des desired angle so as you can see when I move this one this slide here it changes the angle of the text that we have down here so when you have the desired angle all you have to do is click here rotate so that's done so if you know which angle you want this rotated to all you have to do is type inside the box okay let, let me bring the right you could type in here if you say if you type say 90 degrees inside it will rotate 90 degrees then you click rotate and see what happens as you can see although this is <laughs> you can't leave it like that but then we we'll have to move on okay we've just rotated our text so to make it look a little bit neat we go here we drag it to around here so it looks far much better down there I think it looks better down that way then we flatten the image by coming here on images flatten the image so you can rotate it whichever way you you like the cool thing about this is you can also undo whatever if just done there if you make a mistake you come back to edit you click on there and click undo So that's about it. If you think it looks neat like that, you go and save it as JPEG, TIFF or whatever format that you feel comfortable saving it in. And that's about it. Right, another cool feature is this one. You can expand, you can use it to expand 
to increase the scale of um, whatever you have selected in the editing platform if I click on here this is our selected area if you click inside as you can see at the edges here we have a permission to increase the size so what happens is on the other side there's something again uh, which is which is out of focus I've just brought it in it's a little box like this so after you have made any alter alterations to the photo you can just click scale let's wait and see what happens because I've just increased that in size there we go so that is just increased in size so you can do all sorts uh, using uh, these features here is another feature that you might find useful if you click on here this is a blur tool or sharpen tool so let's just increase the size of our brush here as you can see it will only affect the area that we have selected so if I click on there repeatedly or brush inside as you can see the text is becoming blurred I don't know if you can see that it's working like a smudge tool the text is becoming blurred and blurred or oh, I'll zoom in later so you can see what is happening inside as you can see the text is losing pixelation that is how that tool affects the photo or the area to which you apply it that's the blur tool so you can use the same tool say if you are publishing um, say your bank bank transactions or bank account transactions or a check or whatever if you want to block out your name you can just blur it using this tool or your account number or the name of the bank or your address that's where you might find this tool useful okay to finish this selected area can be we can get rid of it easily by just clicking delete because it's already selected it will disappear all right so what I was doing there with the blur tool is called convolving convolve I've just uh, clicked delete on the selected area so it's gone so again I would like to thank you for watching uh, this uh, DVD and you please uh, visit www.bargains.writingfortune.com that's the end of part 7 Thank you very much and have a nice day.